Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh my god, it's been so, so long. I, um, I mean, I'm sure you guys have been seeing- Oh! Well, I usually film <laughs> with my phone. I'm trying to go back to <laughs> vlogging on my actual camera, which is why I got this thing. And, um, but I, what I was gonna say is- so there might be some technical difficulties when watching this this vlog here, okay? Um, it is currently January something. Oh, I think January 31st. No, January like 29th or something like that. And I'm on my way to Australia for the first time. Trying to get all of my bags already. I have some Q&L apparel to fit in there because um, some of my Aussie queens want some Q&L apparel. I have a carry-on right there. And then I just have a bag that I'm going to take on with me. Um, but this is the first official trip of 2024. I'm so ready. I mean, honestly, anytime that I have to leave my dogs and my husband, that's like the only like mm, thing that I'll never get over. But once when I'm there, I'm sure we'll have a good time. Ah! Yeah, honey save the day honey save the day so i have about like a 16 hour 16 hour flight and what i'm gonna do is before we get into australia i want to show you guys a couple of moments that made up the top of the year that made up basically all of this month i'm just gonna go back to the top and um, start with some of my moments from my first class and then so on and so forth. I'm gonna try to catch you up as best as I can, everybody. I know I've literally been MIA. I'm, I've literally been MIA since like even the beginning of last year. You know, remember when I was trying to do like all of that, spend the week with me and I had so many good responses, but then just time just went against me you guys and I just got so overwhelmed and I really and I just I couldn't keep up but you know when something doesn't work out you just have to keep trying and trying and trying and hopefully timing will be better hopefully the experience will be better and so I'm trying to literally you guys whoever said being a content creator is easy it's so not it's not a fucking game because you have to balance so many things so that's what we're doing we're balancing so before I'll I'll do as best as I can to take you along with me as we get from my house to the airport and all of that before we board our flight but for now let's go back to the top of the month get nasty in the moment That you did basically. Yeah, you, you found you found it. Right. You went there. Damn bitch. Welcome the mother, back. How was your trip to Nigeria? Was it good? Oh shit. Take flight? I'm gonna go there one day. <laughs> we going? Welcome back. We just went to Africa. We just brought him back. Yeah, he went to the motherland. You know what I'm saying? Now he's back. Yeah. Welcome back, Ronnie. Straight from tour. Yes. Look at you. Uh, All grown <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> this is how the song started this is how this is the beginning process 
of the song that you just heard. <laughs> Shout out to Cube with the vocals throughout the entire song. Jesus. Now we here. Now we have this. You know, it's such a The to deal with Q&L apparel for all of the Aussie queens. <laughs> Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. <laughs> oh my God. So what we have to do is that space, oh, I think you need to that space that we saw in my suitcase, that's where all of these shirts are going. Let's motherfucking pray that it all fits. Girl. Can you imagine? It's gonna fit. Don't literally, even, there's no brain. It's gonna fit. We literally gonna the whole the whole side of my check-in is like empty. I try like I fit everything in Riri and I fit it and I fit it on one side. So child. This is gonna fit. It's not like crazy. Okay. You have the medium one, right? Yeah. Perfect. Really? Yeah, up. we're fine. I know, Australia bought us out. Thanks, Australia. You're taking all of our shirts. <laughs> well, we still have a, a few. Bitch, so. this is definitely going to be overweight. How no, much? No, uh, you, you got you to gotta think more positive, girl. I'm going to need you to, like, not be so, like... Worried? Yes. Yeah, the shirts aren't, um, aren't, too, aren't that heavy. But look at all my shit on the right. other side. We got it to fit. Amazing. We did it. Okay. Now, now we can go. Oh, shit. This is heavy. Told you it might be overweight. items for my next photo shoot. These are the pieces that we are thinking so far. Oh my God, these are just so good so let's try them on one by one to see how each fit and you guys will tell me which ones that i should go with sweating and then i feel like if you tuck in the just hurt and then i feel like whoever you have they can clip you right like that okay why does it still look crooked you might just be readjusting on your body as you go. Do you want it higher on your hips or lower? I would be lower on your hips. Okay. Like there. Because that's right here at your underwear line in the back. Okay. And then it might just be a booby fit at this point. Let me put this on the ground so they can see. Mine, you know, did you say a tuck? 
top on top. I mean, a, um, a, a chap pin on top. Yeah, I don't mind. Just this. Just this. I also just think maybe when it comes to your posing methods, because this is supposed to hourglass you in a little bit, so I think this is supposed to go more like that. Mm -hmm. So realistically, if you gave your body more angles, mm -hmm. yeah, like something like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then the, the dress will sculpt itself more. Okay. But yeah, let me see if I can get a jacket for this one, because that might work really well. Or a fur might be fire. Okay. Sizing, as, as we get there, we'll have to do sizing differently for projects on when you film um, dance segments or anything live, mm -hmm. because you won't be able just to have like a clip hanging out. Of course, you know? of course. So I say grab the things that work for editorial. So what want... sizes are these? These are samples. So this is a two to four. So it looks like my three miles a day has exactly, been doing a job, thing. honey. And I think a lot of times you girlies think if you're curvy, you're not going to fit in samples, but yeah, that's exactly what it's I really about the waist and about your proportion on your mid midsection, which I, since I you're a little bit shorter, it's yeah. a little harder, but these things, if I were you, I would have somebody do just like a little hike and then do like a clip right back here. Okay. Or else it will just start like pulling itself with gravity because um, there's no coarsening going. So right. There's no foundation. No foundation to yeah. stress. To be honest, this might be a Shout. don't wear shoes shoot. Yeah, I've done that before. Like if you looked like natural makeup clean, hair makeup clean, and then everything was about your outfits. Because mm -hmm. the way you're posing, I mean, mm -hmm. you don't really need a heel, but it'll make you look tall as fuck. So. Do we like with? Do we like with? Or do we like with apple? Like just the simple. Oh, I love it by itself. The lemon cello. Lemon cello moment. A lemon cello. I look like. The yummy yellow starburst. Truly. And with a flat, like if you shoot in flash or you shoot with like really mm -hmm. low lighting, this is all hand beaded. So that shit will sparkle like crazy. Yeah. I love this. Yeah, I, I like, like the dress. I figured this is just helpful for movement on editorials. You have, some, text, you have something, you have something, something to play with. with. Yeah. You guys think? Yeah. Good. You in? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. All right. So you hold this sucker, and I'll get it down on your knees. And this is over my head. These are gonna be your armholes right here. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is. This is different. I feel like the Meg the Stallion reference photo might be helpful with it, but we gotta see if it'll it actually look familiar. Sometimes you gotta just wiggle. <laughs> there you go. And then Ooh. let's just hike her minimal, but give you different textures. Right. No, I love it. And same with that box concept I was saying, this will flare. Mm. So, and this stuff, it sits in the way that you iron it. Okay. So if you're on set and they're like steaming out your clothes. Mm -hmm. All right, so, pictures of our looks. yep. These are the ones that we, that we are going with. And I'm so freaking excited. Yes. All right, you guys, we are in the lounge. That's what me and my cousin normally do so that um, we can just relax, get some work done, um, post if we need to, edit if we need to. And um, we're here, got a couple drinks in us. Now let's get some food and we board in one hour. <laughs> Did I use this in Mykonos? Yes, I feel like it was dead every two seconds. <gasps> Is it. This is not so it. Where is the Zara bag? To Ooh. Open it. The, the Zara bag will never happen again. She's done. We've been elevated. Are you sure? Oh, it must be Pull and Bear. <laughs> First of all, Pull and Bear is not. Ladies elevated. of Lux is all here. First trip of 2024. First trip of 2024. Shake that. Lounge. We're loud.
lounge girlies. We find every lounge there is in every country possible. And I did not get this way until. <laughs> dun dun. But no, it's really great. You know, we're able to just relax. We're able to have, you know, good Wi-Fi so that we can do some work. It's more quiet instead of the all of the drama that comes with being in the actual terminal. I got a latte made, and New Zealand's coffee is mm, hitting, hitting, hitting. It tastes like home. I'm excited. But supposedly Melbourne, Melbourne is supposed to have even better coffee. So we'll see. I really wish that I can. We can just explore New Zealand. It really feels like a Hawaii type. Like there's the water, the sun, the clouds, the skyline is so freaking beautiful. I have to come back to New Zealand. Are any of you guys from New Zealand? Either way, we have to catch our second flight in literally like 30, 45 minutes to Melbourne. So I'm going to go halfway. We're like more than halfway there. Let's get it. Definitely the biggest business suite that I've had on an airplane. You guys can't see it now. I have to. I have to make sure I'm not all the way um, zoomed up. But wow, I this is really nice. You know, the plane is actually not that um, not that new, but just given what these seats are giving, like look at how much room I have. My luggage goes down there instead of going up, which was which is really nice. So I have access to it. The screen like slides out, so it really feels like I'm in a freaking living room, which is really nice. I have buco space here. Slide that back in, and I can go here. Look how big this seat is. Look how much room. I'm so sad. This is only a three-hour, three-hour flight as opposed to a 12-hour flight. I mean, honestly, Air Air New Zealand's first class was actually really nice. It honestly, um, it surprised us. It surprised me and my cousin. But damn, I really wish I was on this plane for the 12-hour flight instead of three. But we are more than halfway to Melbourne, and so far, this has been. The smooth, easily like the smoothest travel day I've had. So make sure it keeps going. Welcome all the team. We do trust you've enjoyed flying with Air New Zealand. Mm. All right. We finally, finally, finally made it to Melbourne, Australia. Oh my gosh, as you can see, we're here in our hotel room. We are very pleased with it. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna just see, we're just gonna float and flow. I mean, obviously we're coming off a really intense travel day, so we don't wanna do anything too crazy. So we're waiting for um, our friend to get here and then we are just gonna hit it and see what the city has to offer I have a class tomorrow a class the next day and then it's vacation time in Australia Will it's too early for all that <laughs> no, it's not. I don't know I, just, I feel like I really see it like <laughs> I got the real receipts. I can put the tip on. <laughs> they don't tip here. It's not right. <laughs> it's not my fault. My <laughs> friends didn't let me know and just let me just willingly just go back. So I was like, Ali, I need to tell you something. Come over here really quick. Like, it doesn't need to be like flat out. Like, no, don't do it. Just. <laughs> Obviously, it does because you didn't get it then, too. You were like, whatever. It's all right. <laughs> just get my attention and call me over so that I don't. Look crazy. They're gonna be crazy in the night. Where are we supposed to put this twenty dollars at? Right. <laughs> the bitch has to charge me a whole new motherfucking 
bill. Did they really? Yes, it was a whole new bill. Their machines aren't even set up for tipping. <laughs> They're not. Nice. It's not a thing here. By not getting anything. <laughs> I know. Where is Brian when we need him? Wait, is there something here? Yes. Go back. Go back. I'm not here. I mean, I would, I hope that I am fully adjusted. We came home, we, I mean, came home, we came back to the room around 3, 4 p.m. yesterday after we had tacos, and we said that we would just take a beat, take a, <laughs> we said that we would take a nap, and kind of like reconvene around 6 or 7, bitch. We were all asleep. I'm, I'm assuming we all were asleep unless they just didn't text me, which I'm sure they wouldn't. But like I we didn't hear from each other. They didn't hear from me. I was knocked like no other last night. And in my head, I was like, I was like, no, I need to get up because then I'm just going to wake up super early the next day. And I did because it's around like, it's like 5 a.m. right now. But I feel, I still feel like my legs, my upper half is awake. Like, you know, when you have that feeling, like that headache feeling or your eyes like kind of hurt a little bit. Probably because I'm still just like trying to wake up or whatever. But my legs feel like super heavy. So I feel like I can go back to sleep. But we're all just kind of thinking, we've been asleep for like 15 hours. Um, so I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we should just get up, have breakfast, and then kind of just see what happens after that. Like if we need to go back to sleep. But I hope that this, I hope this means I'm fully adjusted. We had a 16 hour travel day and we had a 15 hour nap. So I hope this means that I'm adjusted. Um... But today is my first time, or my first class, so we have that a little bit later. But other than that, the world is ours. Like, we have so much seeing to do, so much exploring to do. I'm excited. So, um, I'm probably going to take a shower. Ew, because I haven't taken a shower since, <laughs> since I left home. <laughs> so, let's do that and see what the day has to offer. Not this pimple. Oh my god. Disregard, you guys. This must be from all the champagne. All the champagne and the drink that I had on the plane. Because I definitely had the smoothest skin. This must have been the travel. Ugh, so annoying. Y'all, oh my god. I literally almost left my camera in the hotel here I am just freaking doing TikToks and shit and I almost forgot my camera and why are we all the way zoomed up on my face all right so technically this is day one in Melbourne we are I don't know where we're walking to child but I know these these two already know that I don't like to oh Continue. I'm sorry. Are you okay, sir? You could have laughed after, but the first thing was. 
Now, what to you see what that? you're into. I'll, I'll <laughs> Anyway, hey, what I was gonna say is I don't know where we're walking to and these two know I don't like to walk But you know what it is 8 a.m. We're seizing the moment. It is Super like empty Because we're so early um, So we're just gonna walk explore the city then I need to come back get ready For class, so let's see what we run into I love how empty it is. Oh, she's strong. Good too. Yeah. So we made it to our first, oh shit, I don't know why I keep doing that. Those of you guys who have been following me and following my vlogs know that anytime that me and these two ladies go out, our, um, our type of sightseeing in any country, any new city is shopping. Oh no, my not, god, it is so yours. No, I swear to god, oh. I was talking with Sam. Sam wanted his bag. Wow. Sam and Dustin. So I, anytime, what, like, so anytime we go, cousin, it's literally, we're literally shopping. shopping. It's really, it's my, not bad, my, it's just maybe yeah, not like, as healthy, healthy for our funds, child. But oh my god, these, these purses, They're like, oh, look this at this. One, so cute. Oh wow. Did you get that bag? Let me let me text him right now. I want now. this one. So cute. Yeah. And Justin I'm not supposed to be shopping. Girl, it's only the beginning of the year. I should not be shopping. I yeah, should not. They're, 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 get me out of here. You should always be shopping. <gasps> always. Always be shopping. I should not be shopping. Always be shopping. Okay, man. <laughs> Say it again. Here's the check-in. I need them Louis Timberlands. Where they at? Okay, well, we're making a ride. We're oh, we'll get out the ghetto? Ooh. Because this yeah. is not giving luxury. <laughs> Is she alive? Thinking. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she is alive. She is not. She is. I think. Okay, I don't. I don't. <laughs> it's alcohol, girl. <laughs>